Today, government scientists sounded the alarm about coral, home to about a fourth of all the life in the oceans. Jeff Glor found out what's wrecking the reefs. This is what a healthy coral reef looks like. This is what it looks like after it's become bleached. When you go in on a bleached reef, all of a sudden those corals are stark white. Mark Eakin is a coral reef expert with NOAA. The sound is, is amazingly quiet. It's eerily quiet. The fish aren't behaving normally. Bleaching occurs when coral is exposed to warmer than normal water. The coral gets stressed and loses its coat of protection. If the coral remains exposed for long periods of time, it can die. NOAA says climate change is the primary cause. 2014 was the warmest year on record. So coming into this year, the oceans were already warm. We saw an almost El Nino in 2014-2015. Another factor is a warm mass in the North Pacific known as the blob. That combined with El Nino has caused the worst bleaching Hawaii has ever seen. The bleaching started late last year in the Northern Pacific, then spread to the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Bleaching has also taken place in the Florida Keys, and NOAA says the Caribbean is next. This is only the third time an event like this has occurred in recorded history. Last year, we spoke with world-renowned oceanographer Sylvia Earle during a dive in the Keys. When a coral reef dies, you lose the creatures that only occur there and nowhere else. It's thought that we've already lost thousands of species that can never be recovered because they're gone. NOAA believes 5% of the world's coral could be lost this year, and Scott, next year is predicted to be even worse. Remarkable. Jeff Glor, thanks very much, Jeff.